Good afternoon, Vikes. Today we have a story on the future for the girls' basketball and NBA basketball. We also have a story on Teacher Appreciation Week, and you're watching SVTV. Reagan and Taylor went around the school asking students who their favorite teachers are. Let's go hear more about it. Hey Vikes, it's Taylor and Reagan, and this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. We went around the school to ask students who their favorite teacher is and why, and what qualities a good teacher should have. Who is your favorite teacher and why? Mrs. Haas, because last year when I struggled in math, she was there. She helped me a lot. Uh, Mr. Elliott and Miss P, I think they tie in favorites. My favorite teacher is Miss Beauty because like, I think she has a good sense of style and she's really funny and she has a really good taste in music and like I can just like relate to her and laugh with her. All my teachers because they make me smarter. Mr. Pierce and because he's pretty cool and funny. Miss P because she's awesome and she does a lot for me coaching and teaching and she always helps me if I ever need anything with grades and stuff. Um, Mr. Monholland because he's always given us motivational speeches. What qualities make a good teacher? Um, just being patient with the students and making sure they understand what they're actually teaching. Uh, well, you have to be funny, smart, uh, nice to students. Personality. Okay, well, you need to get your grades in like like as fast as you can, don't take two months. Making learning fun and a good learning atmosphere. Um, a good teacher should be someone who cares about their students honestly more than they care about their content. I think that the student should be the focus um, for our teachers that we're trying to make them successful in life and maybe not just successful in your course. We hope the teachers have a great week. This has been Taylor and Reagan signing off for SVTV. Jake, who's your favorite teacher? Hi, Mr. DeLeonardo. Yeah, me too. Now on to your news. There are only a few days before officer applications are due for a robotics club, and arrested members need to pick up an application in N15 and return no later than May 12th. All library books and materials are due by Friday, May 12th. Tomorrow from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m., the PAD will share a portion of the proceeds with the SHS Orchestra. There will also be a gift basket auction. Seniors, don't forget to pay your fee balances. All balances must be at zero. Any Asian culture member who wants to attend the Chinese field trip to Kansas City on Thursday, May 11, 2017, needs to go to the room 907 to see Miss Wong for a permission slip. If you're a non-football player and, in, and interested in participating in summer weights and conditioning, please see Coach Cox or Coach Schaefer. There will be a meeting during activity period on Wednesday in room 910 for any boys interested in going out for cross country next year. Seniors, you will have the opportunity to turn in your exam waivers during seminar this Friday. Intern Healthcare has an opportunity for CNA graduates to complete a four-day paid training program that could lead to employment by day five. Congratulations to Dawson Heger, Kaylee Broth, and Natalie Ford for being honored by the Topeka Performing Arts Center 2017 Young Artist Awards. Now on to the sports after this commercial break. Just come in. Uh, I just wanted. <laughs> Are these your books? They were checked out to you from 1738. <laughs> Thank you for returning your library books. We appreciate it. It's good to finally be responsible for once. Tonight we have baseball in action against Washington Rural at 5.30 at home, then girls soccer is playing at Highland Park at 4.30. Congratulations to the girls swim and dive team, they finished third at City Meet on Friday. After 24 years of coaching, Coach Alexander has decided to retire. Let's go learn more about it. 
Coach Alexander has been coaching for 24 years and now has decided to retire. Well, I think probably the things, um, the thing that I would miss the most is just the girls being with the girls and hanging out with them and, you know, and having that um, relationship with them during the season. Um, you know, as a head coach, um, you know, you got to know everybody really, really well. And, you know, I have a lot of, I have a lot of play, ex-players that I still keep in touch with. And so, um, you know, I think probably that, that kind of relationship that you have with the basketball players, that's probably the biggest thing that will be missed. We asked Alexander what he's going to do since he has free time now. I'm going to travel a little bit more and we don't want that to be constricted to like two weeks in July is the only time that we can, you know, go anywhere. Since former coach Alexander is retiring, former assistant coach Mr. Tinsley is taking over as head coach. Yeah, I'm really excited about this opportunity to be the girls basketball coach at Seaman. You know, I went to school here. I graduated in 2000. This place is special to me. Um, this, I would say this would be a dream job for me. I'm excited about who we have coming back next year. Not only do we have a lot of talent in the upcoming sophomore, junior, and senior classes, but they're, they're great kids. That they want to work hard. Uh, they love playing the game of basketball. Uh, what more can you ask for? I'm really excited. Good luck to the girls' basketball team next season. This is Jake and Jordan sign off for SVTV. Good luck to the girls' basketball team next year. Now we're to Jacob with the weather. Currently, it's about 62 degrees outside. Uh, it'll get down to the 40s tonight. The high will get to the 80s in the next three days, and the lows will be down in the 40s. Lately, there has been a lot of talk over the MVP race in the NBA this year. Let's go hear more about it. Westbrook had a historic season. Let's look Westbrook, back. Westbrook, the crossover drive. Yeah, no doubt. Russell Westbrook's going to win the MVP. He's definitely the best player in the NBA. Uh, second place isn't even close. LeBron James, and he's 5,000 votes behind him. LeBron James doesn't really do much for his team anymore. Not a very good player at all. Um, he's a great ball player. He's better than James Harden. He has a lot of triple doubles, so I'm pretty sure he's going to win the MVP. I think he's the best player in the NBA, and he deserves to be MVP. I think he's a great player, and I think he's doing really good this season with averaging triple doubles. I don't think he's going to win MVP, though, just because he's out of the playoffs now and James Harden's still going. This is Kobe and Alex signing off for SCTV. Westbrook has my vote. How about you, Jordan? Yeah, me too. Have a great rest of your day, Vikes.